Some of my most formative years were while I was here at Cal Poly and SLO. If you tried to pinpoint it on just one memory, it's nearly impossible to do. It's a lifetime of memories that were all wrapped up into my five years here in SLO. It's one of those things where when you win it, you truly are a representation of the team that you're on. At the time, we had a really good defense. Jordan Beck and Chris Gokong really set the tone and, and they set the bar really high. But we just had a lot of really good defensive players. We had a really good defensive scheme. I was fortunate enough to, to be in a position to be the guy that got to make the, the majority of those tackles in those years. Amazing memory. It's something I'll never forget. But it turns out that it's those individual accolades that actually are the things that you think about the least. Um, and it tends to be the things that, uh, the things that you think about the most and the things you reflect upon and the things that you tell your kids about are the memories that you had with your teammates and traveling on road trips and the things that we would do at Cal Poly or the classes that we took. It's very little about the actual individual awards. The thing about Coach Ellerson is that he was always, I would say, really ahead of his, of his time. He was honestly very kind of representative of Cal Poly. We would try things. I mean, he would get ideas, we would try it, we would experiment it. And a lot of what he did was really kind of pushing the envelope, especially what he was doing on defense. And a lot of the success that we had at the time, I would say contributed to his innovation. He was also um, a unique uh, leader and he was, he was inspiring in his own way, and what was inspiring was that you could really, you really knew that he cared about um, your success, yes, on the football field, but more than that, your success as a person. I remember lots of times him talking about, um, you know, the leaders that were going to be, that he was developing, that we were developing in the locker room that would go on to be the teachers, the firemen, um, the leaders uh, of their homes, right? Those were the things I remember him talking about almost as much as the actual X's and O's. 